we've had a number of resolutions on charter schools this year. Yes. Um, they've gone different ways. Some have gone, um, some were approved, others were not approved. Um, there was a, a good deal of debate, um, you know, with yeah. delegates having some different positions on charters. Um, given that the Duncan administration is um, pushing on charters um, through the race to the top fund, you know, what do you make of this, of, of this discussion about uh, charter schools within your well, membership? I often mention how difficult the discussion on charter schools is at a national level because the 40 states that have them have such different laws. Who establishes them? What kind of accountability measures? Whether they can be unionized or not unionized? And so you have 9,000 people discussing it from 40 different perspectives. And so if you're from this state and you hear charter, you have a definition in your mind. Someone else from another state has a very different definition. And you saw that a lot in the debate between like California and Wisconsin. Right. So that's what makes it a na difficult at the national level. Uh, and in some states, charters are, are not seen negatively, in other states, very negative. And you believe charters should be unionized, if I'm Absolutely. not Absolutely, yeah. And when, you know, the original charter schools were thought of as kind of like a, a place to try new ideas, a pilot. Uh, and if it worked, the idea was to take it to the whole district. Over the years, that's kind of been changed. They've become little enclaves instead, like they stand on their own. I just think it's so important that if we find, through creativity and innovation, something that works better with kids, whether it's English language learners or whatever it may be, the idea is to share that with anyone and everyone who teaches that subject. And we're not doing that right now. And the hardest thing in education is finding a way to take creative and innovative eyes that work, ideas that work in one place, and get them other places. It's just really difficult. One of the roles that the federal government could really play that would be helpful to states is to mine those great ideas. Find the best practices, whether they be in charters or non-charter public schools, and then make that available so that someone says, what's the best that goes on for English language learners or in special ed or whatever? Uh, I think that would be a great partnership between the federal government and states.